Well, Mr. Donald Cossett, what do you think of that? We've been having some gorgeous weather, and I say that sarcastically. It's looked something like this for the last couple days. And the temperatures were right around zero Fahrenheit, so hasn't been too pleasant. Uh, but I say all that because we have burned through the firewood. I tell you what, my house is poorly insulated. The wind blows right through it. So uh, we've been keeping the fire going. But I'm going to work on a chainsaw here today. Not really any metal fabrication in this video. I'm just showing this chainsaw because I think this thing is cool. A friend gave this to me. Uh, we traded some labor, which I haven't done the labor yet for him. Uh, so I'm going to see if this chainsaw will run off of my tractor hydraulics and go cut some firewood. The other thing I plan to do with this chainsaw is actually put it on the end of my knuckle boom crane on the welding truck. I actually have a little electric chainsaw, an attachment I already made for that thing. And it's pretty nice, but being able to run it off the hydraulics like this would be awesome. Uh, the hydraulics on my 1370 case tractor actually are really, really close to the flow rate of what my crane is on my welding truck. So I'm going to try it on there today to see if the saw even works. It's a two-man saw. It's got a handle laying over there I took off so I can get all the mud dauber nests out of it. This is really cool. Um, it's a quick release, so if you want to use it without this end on there, so yeah, you just turn it and it pops right off of there. And uh, somebody just cut the hoses off, which is fine, I guess, but I need to see if that is uh, pipe thread or what those fittings are. And I need to look in there and see if there's any junk in that pump and just do all that fun stuff. But this thing is pretty freaking cool, I think. It's huge. It's 50 right there on the tape measure. I'd say on first glance that looks really good. Let's see if this is three quarter inch fittings or not. Oh, feels good. I have this little adapter I put together for testing hydraulics with air. Which is dangerous, by the way. Air is actually a spring, whereas oil is static. So air can cause an explosion. Things will fly apart. Whereas hydraulic pressure, as soon as it has an opening to lose that pressure, the pressure's gone. So it's, it's safe that way. So using air to test hydraulic stuff can be very dangerous. My only purpose for this is to blow this out, see if there's any crap that comes out of this motor. I don't know if we'll even have enough pressure to turn the motor. Okay. Comes right out the other side in a hurry. which wrench I need one of these days. Well, I'm going to do some work to this chain. See if I can't get some of this rust off of there. I don't want to 
run it like that, so. I'm trying to polish these up and then move it around a little bit and polish these. Anywho, doing pretty good. She's loosened up a lot doing it this way. Chain oil works really well, man. It's throwing oil everywhere. Okay, um, let's go try it out. Need sharpened bad, but that's cool. Oh, yeah, that chain might as well be a log chain on there. That's there's not even an edge on that. Awesome, and it's really safe, too. I was kind of worried about it, but the hydraulic relief valve on the tractor kicks in real soon so if I bind it it stops that saw instantly it actually feels like it stops quicker than a clutch on a two cycle chainsaw This is just freaking awesome. Oh, I, I just didn't even know if this saw would even work. Um, I'm really excited. I'm gonna do two things, well, three things with it, actually. Uh, I'm gonna make a mount so I can put it on my knuckle boom crane. I'm gonna make a mount so it'll go on the loader tractor here. And then I'm gonna make some handles on it so I can just use it as a handheld chainsaw. And obviously this is not going to be like a fuel saving implement because running this tractor engine is way more fuel than running a chainsaw. But there's times when something like this is just going to be really, really handy. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm afraid I went in this video here. I wanted to sharpen that chain on that chainsaw and run back out and test it again. But I do not have big enough stones <laughs> for that thing. Uh, it looks like it's at least quarter inch diameter stones. I really don't feel like sitting down for who knows how long and using a file on that because yeah, those teeth are just completely flat. They're, there's no sharpness to them at all. So I really would like to use my machine to do that and I mean that's a long ways around that chain. Even the machine it's going to take a while. But more importantly the cold front has hit already. It was 45 degrees and calm and it is now 11 degrees and 35 mile an hour winds. So once I saw that cold front coming in, I just fired up my gas chainsaw and ran out and cut the firewood I needed. So I don't need to cut any more at the moment and there's really no reason to go out in this nasty weather and um, play with this chainsaw just to show you some footage of it cutting one of it being sharp, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, I guess that ends this video. So thanks for watching y'all.